Hey guys, welcome to another Lavender Lane episode. In this video, I finally finished the town's community college. It took me forever to finish this build, two months to be exact, but it's finally here. Let's start the video. <laughs> I claim the spot in the middle of the town. I just think it would be a nice place to put a college so it's easily accessible to everyone in town. And of course, we are a little bit limited in terms of space, but we're just going to have to make do. So the only way to really build is up. All the colleges on the internet are all quite boxy and large, so I really wanted to incorporate that still, but not too much. I also wanted to have quite a large grand entrance, and with all of these wall spaces, I need large windows. Adding big windows makes the place look a lot more corporate looking, which is something we want for a college build. For the side of the build, I'm adding a little balcony thing because it looks so empty. I just had to put something there. This could be the place where students wait for their rides or just a place to sit and hang out before going inside and dealing with their tedious classes. So dealing with the interior now, colleges always have bigger classrooms to accommodate large classes so I tried my best to divide it evenly. But even with three floors, I'm afraid we are still largely limited. One thing iconic about colleges are the lecture rooms. I remember wanting to go to university, just wanting to sit in one of these lecture rooms. They are in this theater-like format where the seats at the back are positioned higher so that the students sitting there can still see the front where the lecturer is. And the sad part about this video is the fact that I lost the footage of me finishing the lecture room, but I suppose that can be a little surprise at the end. So for now, we're gonna do the cafeteria. And I was having trouble distinguishing between a high school cafeteria and a university cafeteria. But I guess there really isn't too much we can do, and I just ended up with this. I made sure the cafeteria kitchen is packed with necessary appliances so the university cooks have tools to cook all sorts of foods to feed the students. And they do need brain food after all. Taking inspiration from the Maple Street High School, I put a fence to guide the students where to line up when grabbing food. I had to make a custom one because fences are only able to be put down on the big grids. One thing about universities is that they love their vending machines and scamming their students. I know that there are vending machines everywhere in my university and I always end up buying quite a bit from them even though they're hella expensive. Next, we are doing the staff room, which also doubles as a teacher's offices, a lounge area for staff, etc. I did say we are running a little low on space and I'm putting down the cheaper computers because this is a government-owned community college and in this economy, the government just can't afford to donate more high-tech computers to the university, but that's okay because they still work fine as they did 15 years ago. I've been dying to use these lockers from the gym update and I'm kind of bitter that they decided to add lockers that you can see into. Like I get it, they are gym lockers, I just wish they gave us other types like the school ones. I'm pretty sure we are getting that in the future though, considering Bloxburg has been putting their old buildings on fire, quite literally. That says that we're definitely in the process of getting a town revamp. Now this university is also on their staff. That's why they have so many papers on the office desk because they have so much workload to get through. Before we continue this video, our sponsor for today is Peppy Play. They recently released a summer update for Peppy Wonderworld. Let's travel to Bunny Island. Let's select some of these newly unlocked summer characters. Here I have a skater girl and a surfer boy. We can dress them up with new clothes. How stylish! The new activities we can explore in this update will allow for endless roleplay fun. We can play with insects, harvest fruits, and even eat them. The fruits, not the insects. With all that, there's still so much more to explore and discover. Have your summer fun now by downloading Peppy Wonder World and check out their amazing summer updates using the link in the description below or pinned comments. You can also use this QR code right here. Now let's get back into the video. I kept the orientation area quite basic only because I kept thinking about the university I attend and I actually don't think they have a reception area. I think they have an office area per faculty. This community college we are doing is only one building, so it should make sense that there is only one reception, right? Anyways, I added stools there and tables as well, so that way people can fill in paperwork. And I added a huge amount of flyers and posters in this build. It's kind of an overkill. Next up, the toilets. Now I'm adding a female toilet and a male toilet. With a female toilet, it is quite default with just one toilet stall and a sink. With a male bathroom, however, I added one toilet stall and two urinals. I, of course, had to make the urinals out of basic shapes, and if you ask me, Bloxburg should add urinals. Let's not forget our hand dryers. Now we are up to the lab rooms. Most of my IRL university experience, I worked a lot in lab rooms and my university even has a whole building dedicated to just lab rooms. But this community college of ours is just lucky to have one laboratory. <laughs> 
I'm adding lab room clutter using books, spices disguised as chemicals, cups and glass as beakers. And as I'm putting these down, I'm thinking about all the times when I would have to replace all of them when an actual school update comes out. Because honestly, it is inevitable. When I visit Maple Street and see the spa we made there, it just reminds me of how outdated it is. Because we now have legit yoga mats and all these spa slash fitness objects. And yet I'm too lazy to update it. <laughs> Laboratories always have this little prep room where they store all the extra chemicals and lockers for teachers and stuff. So I had to add it. Now we're doing our last and third floor. I will be adding the gymnasium there. And with a gym, we need shower rooms and I'm placing it right next to it. It is odd having a gym on the third floor, but let's just pretend it isn't. And speaking of the new fitness items, I am making a basketball court like I usually do. But this time I actually have a real basketball hoop instead of creating one out of decals. The problem is it's too big. But luckily I'm smart, so I figured out a way. We can place them on the vents I have in the lecture hall below and adjust the vent height so it can fit nicely. There we go, problem fixed. I fully understand that our gym is looking really stuffy, so I added a lot of windows. I worked on our locker rooms a little bit more by copy pasting some items from downstairs toilets to upstairs. And back to the gym, we need a lot of bleachers. Again, we are really limited, so I just had to place them against the wall and make the most of the space that we have. If I planned this a little bit better, then maybe we would even have those iconic multi-level bleachers. For gymnasiums, I like to use these portable tables because I imagine that they only really take them out when needed. And I was also so excited to add these fitness stuff from one of the recent updates. I always think about how far Bloxburg has come. Before, we had to rely on stacking objects together because we didn't even have basic shapes to make pretend objects. It was a tough time, but I thought it was a time when the community was really strong because we all relied on each other's hacks and inventions. I just miss those days. Building is way better now though. But sadly, Bloxburg isn't as popular as it used to be. Let's just talk about how whenever I try to make gymnasiums, I always flash back to those awful PA experiences I had back in high school. And for some reason, it was always related to dodgeball. Gosh, I hated dodgeball. It was a pain to play. I wasn't particularly good at it, though I'm not good at any sports, period. But with this one, you can't be the first person out because that's embarrassing. But you also can't be the last person standing because then everyone's watching you and that's even more embarrassing. But now that I'm talking about this, I kind of miss high school when the biggest of my problems was just dodgeball. It really makes you think. Right now, I am making a dean's office. Usually, there would be more of these offices because there are multiple deans in colleges. But again, spacing issues. What's new? I'm not gonna lie and say that I enjoyed making this build. Because I didn't. And you can probably see that. I already promised you that I will be creating a community college for Lavender Lane. And I wasn't about to back out. But it was painful to make this because I wasn't feeling it. I don't think I did a very great job, but I'll let you be the judge of that. In this room, I will add a library or a bookstore of some sort because this is way too tiny to be a library. I added books and some seats, a counter, and anything a library needed and called it a day. But I didn't really because you still had the computer room to finish. Computer rooms are always a vibe and this one over here can be used as a classroom for the IT cores or it can just be a place where students can do research and use free Wi-Fi to do their assignments. After I was done with that, I just had to add something more to this build because it is incredibly boring. So I put down a little snack area where people can either snack and microwave food and maybe get a cup of tea. I added a water bubbler or water fountains, whatever you like to call it, added an emergency exit, some landscaping to add a pop of colors, and of course, pots of plants. You have no idea how different the vibe felt after adding these plants. And just like that, we are done! Welcome to Lavender Community College. I'll be your tour guide for today. You can really tell that this took me a while to build because I had a whole outfit change. Um, yeah, anyways, let's go inside, guys. This is the reception area. As you can see, I put some pamphlets and all that stuff so you guys know all the activities we are doing in this university. And this is the cafeteria area. I just wish they'd give us more food options for the food catering um, containers. 
and yeah we can close this up even though it kind of chops our food in half that's okay we can close it up once the kitchen is done serving the food for today and going into the office area actually we don't have a lot of staff that's why there's only three desks but that's okay um we have our beautiful logo lcc lavender community college how basic can i get but that's okay this is the lecture room um i didn't get to show you because i lost the footage but this is what it looks like it has a podium for the lecture and it has a whiteboard over there teaching the students about maths or science whatever it is and let's go up these stairs how cool <laughs> um i'm just sad that you can't really like walk to the other side like the chairs um to my right because there's just no space to walk but yeah that's our lecture hall and going upstairs we have this hallway over here we have the emergency exit yeah, basic, I know, but it leads us to the outside, which is great. And of course, the balcony area where you can just sit down and chill. We also have a vending machine there. The school's trash cans are also hidden down there. And we have that loan car that I have been using for the last three Lavender Lane videos. I've just been recycling this one car. And of course, the water fountains and the toilets. This is the female toilet, which is one toilet. And the next one is the male toilets and it has urinals. How cool is that? We should really have urinals, guys, like I said before. But let's just leave this area over here. Again, a logo and this little lounge area where you can also get some foods. If you notice, I also have the TV up um, for whatever school update we have. And this is the laboratory, the only one in this school because we need to cater to our science slash STEM students. I made sure to add everything that the students would need, like the beakers and the chemicals on their desks. And this is the little preparation area for the teachers and the assistants to fix up for the students. And yeah, let's go upstairs, another sitting area where you can play guitar and just chill. And this is the library slash bookstore because I really can't imagine this as a library because it's too small, but at least it looks cozy. And going over here, this is the computer room. And let's go out to the Dean's office. As you can see, I put windows there. They can pull the blind down for some privacy, but this is the Dean's office where you're probably called to to discuss about your grades. I don't know, I've never been to call to the Dean's office, but this is the gymnasium. I just added a bunch of the fitness stuff, the new fitness stuff, and honestly, yeah, I love it. And this is the locker room, and we're going in this one. This is the females one. I can open this one, and sadly, I made a mistake. Opening this door locks the other one, like it just like traps you in there, but don't worry, I did fix it after this tour is done. This is the male changing rooms. We have our lockers here. Again, I have a similar problem with this door over here because if I open it, it does go like outside, like it disappears to the outside. So if you go outside, you can actually see the door, okay? <laughs> Which is crazy. But yeah, guys, that is our Lavender Lane College. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. <laughs>